I picked this up at the City Thrift this past Wednesday. First time at the City Thrift in like two months. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot there, probably because not a lot of people were donating. And, well, anybody and everybody was there. It's like, Ugh. But whatever. I picked up a couple things. Some useful things. I saw this, and it's like, it looks vintage enough, but we all know it's not. It's badged Tiac, which we all know is like, from the um, high-end Japanese-made uh, stereo components. Skinny. I mean, it does have a unique vintage look to it. So yeah. Let me turn around and give you the model number. ETL approved TIAC model SL-D80. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 15 watts. Tokyo, Japan. Unfortunately, well, maybe it's a good thing it's out of focus, but it says made in China with a China Primatronics. However, December of 2002, so which would have been a 2003 model. So 17 years and it may still work? Who knows? Speaker ports. So yeah, obviously this was not Walmart grade and everything. I don't know if this was like a Bed Bath & Beyond, a JCPenney's, Target. I don't know. CD player. I'll get to that in a minute. So yeah. Let me plug it up and we'll see what we got. Again, it's got a clock, so it's kind of like a alarm clock thing. Time is not accurate. I don't know what time it is. I don't really give a flip. It's like four minutes after four, so it's off by an hour. No big deal. So let's turn it on and see what we got. Hmm, it glows almost kind of like how they did uh, those old vintage radios. Boeing 747 that will take off from Mojave Air of Space uh, in, in the desert north of Los Angeles and fly out over... Hmm. Uh, the station, there's a station that's overpowering everything else. Or whatever. But, but either way, here's the antenna, so... Basins, it sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay, I think what it could be, it's like uh, WRND, which has a transmitter literally two miles from my house, is overpowering everything else. It could be possible. Of course, them playing Hearts uh, Magic Man, that's, I don't know. I don't listen to commercial radio much. This portion brought to you by Mumble Rap. Let me try it. Oh, that's pretty cool. AM is oh, cool. Interesting story, like I said, uh, WQEZ has to label themselves as WQEZ AM 1370 to broadcast on FM 99.9 because there's already a WQEZ FM somewhere in Alabama. Google it, research it, whatever you kids do nowadays. 
Okay, maybe not. When the station comes in clear, it sounds great. I mean, what am I going to do with it? I don't know. But you know what? We're not going to worry about that. We're going to try the CD. And yes, we're going to try Fog Hat. Everybody loves Fog Hat. If you don't, shame on you. Now, unfortunately, I cannot get this to work at the store, so maybe it needs to... No. Okay. You know what? Let me put it... Because sometimes it'll spin and... Okay. Press play. Okay, this is weird. Okay, it did move. Trust me, it did move. This video is going on almost seven minutes, and half of that's probably to see if the CD player doesn't work. I'm a moron. Oh well. That's fun on its own, so. You know, with the clock says 313, let me see what we... I'll wait and see if something happens. If anything happens. Welp. No. I got you no right here. But unfortunately, well, this ain't gonna get destroyed because it has a nice style to it. All the controls are up front. And it sounds pretty good for what it is. So it's gonna be on the shelf of my workshop. So... 100.3 How am I supposed to live without this? Oh well, that's that. This little show and tell is this TAC vintage looking stereo. I forget what the model number was. Model SL slash D80. So until next time, I'm going to watching. And the pound back to open.